AutoCAD is the design industry standard when it comes to basic CAD software. One reason for that is because of its ability to be customized to fit the needs of its users, whatever those needs may be. Now, the user interface is easily altered in a lot of different ways. You can add to it, you can move parts of it, or even just take away unused options. You can even create several different interfaces called workspaces that are customized to fit specific needs, and you can easily switch in between them. In fact, AutoCAD comes with several different workspaces right out of the box. Now, very quickly, you can change between workspaces by going down to your status bar. If you come down here, you'll see this workspace switching. If you click on the little arrow that points down, you can pick between any of these different workspaces. Now, out of the box, it comes with these three workspaces, drafting and annotation, 3D basics, and 3D modeling. Now, this one right here, BC Benton, that's one that I've customized myself, and it's the one I'm using at the moment. Now, if you see this check mark by it, that tells you which workspace is current. But to switch between them, you just click on one of them, and your interface will change. It'll change some things in the ribbon, palettes, whatever it is that is set up to be displayed. Now, in this default workspace environment, you'll see that I have a basic ribbon, no toolbars. I have this design feed palette that's up right here. Close that right now. And this is a basic 2D interface. If I go to 3D basics, this will give me some of the standard three-dimensional commands in the ribbon and make it very easy to get to. So if you're going to create some boxes, other primitive type shapes, do some basic extruding, sweeping, things like that, this is probably the interface that you want to use. But if you're going to be doing a lot of 3D modeling, click there on the 3D modeling. You can see the tools get a lot more advanced. Regardless of what workspace you're using, all of the commands are always available to you in AutoCAD. You can always type them in or change something. Now, some of the interfaces change while you're in the interface. For example, I can grab this command line, I can move it around, and I'm changing my interface. I can also stretch it up, make it bigger, or I can close it and get rid of it altogether. Now, anything you do to your workspace, you can always get it back. There are a lot of different keys that you can press to turn on different palettes. You can always close and open different toolbars, the menu bar, things like that. Or if you make any changes, you can just reload the workspace that you want to use. Now, the user interface can be manipulated through what's called the CUI, or the Custom User Interface. To get to that, it's pretty simple. You just type CUI on the command line. Now, here in the CUI, you can customize almost any interface aspect of AutoCAD. I can create new commands, command macros, new buttons, new toolbars, ribbon tabs, or different panels. And in this chapter, we're going to talk about each one of those specifically. But you can see here in my CUI, I can access the different workspaces that I have. I can also look at the quick access toolbar, different aspects of the ribbon, tabs, panels, things like that. Down here, we have a list of all of the commands available to you in AutoCAD. So I will show you throughout this chapter how to tweak the way AutoCAD looks to help you work better.